Black people don't want to fight you. We All we want to do is feed our children mm-hmm. and be equal. But honey, white people are scared. They're becoming a minority. The world is brown. Yeah. And they're going to do everything they can to stay in those gated communities, not pay taxes, and put those in their places and get those out of this goddamn country. We own this bitch. Well, guess what? You will not win. Because love is the answer. All right, guys, so we got to get our daily dose of comedy from Trump deranged liberals because that, to me, is what this is. This is comedy. I just laugh at stuff like this because it's hilarious, right? These people who are having an existential crisis over what may happen if Trump becomes elected president again. Now, we already know uh, what happened when Trump became president the first time. The world became a better place. But in their eyes, the world is going to end if Trump gets elected Again, that to me seems to be how they feel. And we got to talk about Miss Jennifer Lewis, who's a washed up, woke, Trump deranged black actress who's going to channel all three altars of the liberal black woman, the racialist, the narcissist, and the feminist in this rant about what will happen to this country if Trump is elected again. Again, the irony here is is that this woman claims to be fighting against racism while at the same time pushing racism. As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, uh, she claims that white people are afraid of black people and they're afraid that the world is becoming more brown, that white people becoming a minority in the world. I mean, newsflash, I mean, white people already are a minority in the world, right? So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what she's talking about or what she's getting at. I'm assuming she's basically talking about the United States of America. But anyways, um, you know, it's just so crazy to me how when people like her say that, when they say, well, white people becoming a minority, uh, that's praised, okay? But when white people say, hey, we're becoming a minority, uh, people see that as a form of hate and bigotry for white people to acknowledge something like that, right? And, you know, me personally, uh, I don't necessarily see that as objectively a good thing. Like the uh, woke left uh, sees that as a good thing. I think ultimately at the end of the day, uh, as a society, our population is declining and we need to uh, have more kids, right? I think everybody, including whites, <laughs> need to have more kids so that uh, we do not have to import uh, our uh, population in order to grow, right? But without further ado, let's go ahead and play this rant here from, um, you know, Jennifer Lewis on this woman's show that nobody listens to, right? So, uh, they should be thanking me for actually reacting to this because <laughs> more people will probably listen to my reaction than the original show itself. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and get into this. Dear God, what have we done? Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what we've done. We've spent time trying to decide what flavor ice cream we're going to get. Mm. Because there are 10,000 flavors. Right. We spend half our lives choosing, trying to make a choice on bullshit. What movie tonight? Let me sit here for a half hour. No bombs going off. And we do nothing. We sit on our couches. Oh, I don't believe in voting. You fucking idiot. Mm. If that man gets in, As soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces. Mm. I I think she means this in a literal sense, right? I don't think that she's trying to um, essentially make some type of metaphor or anything like that. No, I actually think that that is what she believes, right? Uh, And she's trying to convince people to go out and to vote based off (laughs) these very, very, very deranged ideas of what Trump is going to do if he becomes president, right? Because all they have to sell is fear, right? They can't sell anything except fear because Biden has not delivered anything that will motivate anybody to go out and to vote, right? So when your agenda is not actually helping people, if people feel like the economy is bad, the border is wide open, crime is out of control, 
Okay, um, we're having a lot of problems in this country. People's lives are object objectively worse under Biden than Trump. Again, what else can you sell them outside of fear? But see, this is not going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work, because all these things that she's talking about uh, did not happen under Trump the first term. And it's not going to happen under Trump the second term. So, again, she's just pulling things out of her ass. Right. She's just saying whatever. OK, uh, with this, you know, fake a uh, deep rant that she's going on here as if she's somehow enlightened when she's really not okay she's just another ignorant woke liberal woman that is playing her part for the democrat party right that's all she's doing pushing propaganda for the democrats and see the new democrat strategy has become well let's just try to shame voters who say hey i don't want to vote for biden right i don't necessarily want to vote for trump but i don't want to vote for biden either okay i just want to sit it out the reason why they're shaming these people is because what Democrats rely on every single election is ignorance to come out and vote, right? People who really shouldn't be voting in the first place, but they come out and vote based off crazy stuff like, well, Orange Man bad, right? That's how they motivated people to come out and vote in 2020. They blamed literally everything on Trump, right? The pandemic was on Trump. Every COVID death was on Trump, even though a lot of these COVID deaths were happening in Democrat states like New York, ran by Democrats because of Democrat policies. Nah, it's Trump's fault. Everything was Trump's fault, okay? But they can't play that card anymore because Trump is not in office. So all of this is really not going to work, and I actually think it's going to make the problem worse, okay? I mean, this does not work. Shaming people into trying to vote for your candidate or to vote against Trump because that's actually what they really want. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to work. I really don't. So, yeah, she says he's going to uh, smash the glass holding the Constitution. OK, this is what he's going to do. And he will tear it up in our faces. Mm. Tear it up. And say, now. I'm the king of the fucking world. <laughs> you will bow down, bitches. Yo, that sounds kind of based, right? Low key, low key, these people do a great job at selling me on Trump, right? All the things they claim he's going to do, I'm like, well, that sounds kind of based, right? <laughs> if, Trump, if Trump got elected, again, minus the tearing up the Constitution part, I'm pretty sure he would not do that. Trump would never do something like that. But minus that part of it, right? If, if, Trump, if Trump got elected and then on Inauguration Day uh, doing his speech, he said, Bow down. I'm the king of the world now, bitches. <laughs> Yo, that would be one of the most base things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. That would be hilarious if he did something like that. Okay. These people would lose their minds. In fact, I think that's what he should do, right? As a joke. Okay. As a joke, he actually really should do, <laughs> do that. <laughs> that's exactly what he should do. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. Yes. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Mm. I, I do too. And I think I'm listening to it right now. Right. I'm listening to it. I do too. I'm listening to it. This is a severe, a severe case of Trump derangement syndrome, right? This is, this might be one of the worst cases we've ever seen, okay? There is no cure for this, okay? There is no cure for this. Some people, their Trump derangement can be cured, like a Michael Rappaport, right? With bad policies, bad Democrat policies can cure uh, Trump, uh, Michael Rappaport's Trump derangement. But for this woman right here, there is no cure, right? This is terminal, okay? It's terminal. That mania is unstoppable. See, this motherfucker's Hitler. <laughs> mm. Wow. He didn't come to play. Yeah. So you see that you hear that. Okay. Um, Again, she's one step away from saying that he's the Antichrist, which, again, something that, you know, Charlemagne the God has come out and said, you know, some people in liberal media has come out and said, like I predicted, um, they're going to just say that Trump is, you know, whatever, right? The devil, he's Satan. OK, they're going to say that Trump is the most evil thing that you could think of. When again, you know, under his presidency, none of these things that they claim was going to happen because they claim they were claiming these things were going to happen before he was elected in 2016. Right. Remember all the things they were saying uh in 2016 okay are the same things that they're saying today and it didn't happen then it's not gonna happen in trump's next term and rants like this is why i tell people you know if trump gets elected you better get out of the liberal cities 
You better leave, okay, at least for the first few months. Because if Trump gets elected, these people are going to lose their minds and they're going to be riding in the streets like they did the first time that Trump was elected. But it's going to be like 10 to 100 fold, right? That's what it's going to be. They're not going to be able to stomach it. They're not going to be able to take another four years of Trump because they're going to be brainwashing to believe in that if Trump gets elected, he's never going to leave. He's going to become a dictator. He's going to be king, okay? Uh, he's going to do what she, she claimed. He's going to punish Punish everybody that didn't vote for him, right? He's going to uh, ban MSNBC, right? This is all the stuff that they say uh, on the liberal media on a daily ba basis that Trump is going to do, right? They really do believe that they're going to be persecuted, right? Because they didn't vote for him. So, you know, it's just so funny to me, um, you know, how these people are getting more and more desperate because Trump's poll numbers are getting better and better and better and Biden's are getting worse and worse and worse. So now they come out the woodwork with these types of Trump deranged rants that are full of hyperbole and, you know, all types of nonsense and crazy stuff that they just make up because these people can't come out here and to tell a positive story about the Biden administration. They can't. They can't say one positive thing about Biden and what he's done for people. So therefore, they do this. In an act of desperation, I would have asked her, well, why should we vote for Biden? But you can't mention anything having to do with Trump, right? Tell us why we should vote for Biden without mentioning Trump. Bet you can't do it. Bet you can't do it. It'd be word salad, Kamala Harris style, right? That's what will happen. So that's why you're seeing so many of these people lose their minds, and particularly when it comes to these liberal black women, because they are attached to the Democrat Party at the hip. Their power is a result of the Democrat Party and their woke agenda. This is why these people get so upset when it comes to the Republicans and their pushback against the woke agenda, specifically DEI. They're already playing it up now, right? <laughs> Claiming that Trump has an agenda to fight against anti-white racism if he gets elected. This is what they're fear-mongering about on MSNBC, that Trump actually wants to stop the racism against whites that is so prevalent in this country that we're overtly seeing from the mainstream liberal media and the Democrats. If Donald Trump returns to the White House, close allies reportedly want to dramatically change the government's interpretation of civil rights era laws to focus on anti-white racism rather than discrimination against people of color. That is according to exclusive reporting from Axios that says the focus would range from decades old policies aimed at giving minorities economic opportunities to more recent programs that began in response to the pandemic and the killing of George Floyd. A Trump campaign spokesman told Axios as President Trump has said all staff offices and initiatives connected to Biden's un-American policy will be immediately terminated. And so, Rev, um, help us out here. I mean, he, we should believe him <laughs> and uh, among many other things. But um, I think this Easter, we're, we're feeling like things are moving in a direction maybe at a faster pace that is a little frightening. No, I think that he has made it very clear. If you just look at the fact that his Supreme Court, he appointed three of the five conservatives on the Supreme Court, they have ended affirmative action. Uh, they have also uh, did a real blow to the Voting Rights Act. So this is what Trumpism is, is to reverse everything that happened in the civil rights movement and go back to pre-1950 America. That's what he means by make America great again. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. You can easily see why the so-called liberal black woman, uh, people like Jennifer Lewis, uh, would be having an existential crisis over the idea of Trump getting back in office because, again, the DEI, the... Um, you know, anti-white racism party uh, is going to come to an end, right? There's speculation that, hey, you know, Trump's going to roll back a lot of this woke stuff, the woke agenda from the progressive Biden administration. And again, that benefits black women the most, okay? And this is why uh, they're so upset, right? This is why they're so mad and they're angry and they're out here pretending like the world is going to end because for them, yeah, their world could be ending, right? Again, they're a world where uh, they get special rights and privileges and their voice is amplified despite, you know, not being that much of the population, right? Um, they feel like 
Trump is a threat to their power. So therefore, they come out here and they chastise people who are deciding to sit it out and not to vote for Biden. They want to guilt trip them and tear them down. Uh, because ultimately, at the end of the day, despite the fact that, you know, under Biden, the country is in a much worse place for these liberal black women. They don't give a damn. OK, they're putting themselves and their power over the country as a whole. Right. So, again, this is why they get so upset with people who don't want to vote for Biden, because not vote for Biden and allowing Trump to win is a threat to them. Right. That's how they see it. OK, so, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.